Hey everyone, it's Tom here from Crypto Busy, and in today's video, I'm going to go through how Bitcoin and crypto is going to perform in the medium term. July is going to be a big month, not only for crypto, but for the world economy. And so stay tuned and watch to the very end, where I'll be revealing when data is going to be released and how the markets are going to react, and importantly, what to do. So with that all being said, leave a like on this video. It's very much appreciated. If you're new and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. And so with that all being said, guys, let's run straight into it now if you haven't done so already also be sure to check out josh's video from yesterday talking about how july could look for bitcoin's price and also for altcoins and how they're going to react because there's a lot of data that's coming out a lot of good stuff for bitcoin but also on the macro sense some data that will be released by uh, the bea and many other uh, boards across the world about how the world economy is going to be performing and how it has performed over the past two quarters and as we all know if we see two negative gdps then we are in a technical recession and that is where you're going to be seeing the alarm bells from the mainstream media to pretty much uh, you know the general public and uh, that's where you're going to see the sort of the mass hysteria but again some sort of uh, conflicting uh, price action may come out of that we'll just talk about that later on in today's video but going into uh, how the market is performing for today we're seeing bitcoin's dominance at 42 and a half percent ethereum around sort of 15 percent the market cap around sort of 875 billion dollars bitcoin coming in at nineteen thousand five hundred dollars we did see bitcoin's price pump just a little bit last night going up to around sort of twenty thousand six hundred dollars this usually happens towards the end of every month you see the options expire and also contracts expire as well for uh, futures and that usually has sort of a, a release of pressure and uh, bitcoin's price can either go up or down quite violently towards the end of the month and so we saw that just a little bit um last night um i was sort of <laughs> woken up around sort of 1am uh, with the alerts coming off my phone uh, about bitcoin's price going up but uh, yeah how it is at the moment and how bitcoin could perform throughout this month you know we are still seeing that fear in the markets if we have a look at how bitcoin has performed throughout june down negative 40 percent pretty much it has been a crazy three months for crypto and again it's also been the same for the world at the moment so we are seeing this sort of slowdown in how the the price action is happening not only for crypto but also for the world economy we're seeing stocks like shopify and other uh, stocks and shares in the stock markets uh, performing worse than crypto worse than bitcoin um, i think shopify is down 70 percent from year to date but uh, bitcoin's price is down i think sort of something like uh, you can actually have a look here actually uh, quarterly that's sort of like yeah you know, sort of 60 percent compared to shopify's uh 80 90 percent, something like that absolutely crazy price action coming from there now regardless of all the the bad data you're seeing at the moment and the not fun data that we're seeing from the world economy how that's performing supply chain energy crisis all these bad things still yet el salvador has bought more bitcoin uh, and also microstrategy have bought more bitcoin as well so el salvador have bought 80 bitcoin at nineteen thousand dollars each um, and this is from the president of el salvador and you can see with uh, with the receipts as well how much they have bought um, so i believe they bought around sort of 1.5 million dollars of bitcoin and they continue to do so they're continuing to add bitcoin to their balance sheets and i think this is a long-term game this is not just going to be something where um you know the president of el salvador is going to make a quick flip of this it's not going to happen towards the end of this month this is a long-term perspective for bitcoin integrated in el salvador's economy and we just have to wait and see how that happens in a way it's kind of an experiment so do comment down below you know, what do you think of this what do you think with el salvador a country buying bitcoin buying more bitcoin even right now with how the economy is performing and again if you haven't done so already be sure to subscribe to crypto busy today we also this is on twitter we also have our twitter linked down in the description below and then also on top of that we also have our trading group our crypto busy uh trading group uh, it's our signals group again on telegram uh you know 90 percent of our trades have been in profits over the past month so even with how bitcoin has performed over the past month our trades are still hitting profit and you know coupled with that as well uh, el salvador or bitcoin is down 70 percent from its all-time high and el salvador keeps on buying the same with again with micro strategy as i just mentioned and this is you know good to see it still means that people are not sort of you know flocking the ship they just want to you know continue what's happening right now build this is the time to build especially as we are in some form of bear market and again long-term perspective when it comes to these things now again as i mentioned in the beginning part of the video josh has also gone through in much further detail how bitcoin's price will perform on the technicals but what can i see so far is the uh the key levels so you know bitcoin has found some form of support around sort of the the nineteen thousand dollar region we just have to wait and see if that region is uh, held as support if we see that support broken then we could be seeing bitcoin's price break below the recent swing low which is around sort of seventeen thousand five hundred. and if we see that broken then i do think we could be seeing another area between 
15 and 16 thousand dollars if we do see that capitulation happen in the immediate short term so that is what's happening there on the technicals if we do see a break above you know, I'm not going to be happy until I see Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin's price close above $25,000 and do so for a few days. I mean, as you can see with Bitcoin's price, how it has been performing over the past few months, you see this, these red candles and this is not uh, sort of healthy price action or natural price action. This is manipulation. The same when you see the, uh, the green candles um, of last year, back in September and also October of last year, there were some green candles that looked very, very suspicious and very much manipulated. And that is also the key point there as well we also do trade on bybit you can use our link down in the description below um, we have some trades open there for the time being but again for experienced traders only now coupled with everything that's happening for uh, this month and i'm going to reveal when exactly some data will be released about how the world economy is performing and this will affect how the markets are going to perform better days are ahead with deleveraging coming to an end this is what jp morgan has said and this in a way is a good thing regardless of who said it or you know why it's been said uh, the main thing really is that you know to get out of the the bad stuff we've seen in the market for the past you know two months or so at this point you need to see people um, essentially just quit crypto. So sort of the people who have over leveraged, over borrowed, over invested, over exposed themselves to crypto in a way unnecessarily. You know, these are people who shouldn't be investing in the first place. You've seen the capitulation events with some of the companies out there have also exposed and overexposed themselves to crypto in general and also over borrowed, over leveraged. This is not good at all. And so to get past this, to get away from this um, you know, section and this part of the, the, the market that we're in at the moment, that allows us to rebuild and learn from the mistakes we've had before. However, the same mistakes keep on happening. So we need to find ways to go around this. Um, now, one way would be to regulate it. Now, I, I'm advocating for some regulation, not over-regulation to kill innovation. That is what I like to say about when it comes to regulation. But there are some people out there that want to have over-regulation to just kill the innovation. And I don't want that at all. But I do think we are getting away from the Wild West. And that's what we're going to be seeing this month and also for the rest of this year. We're going to be seeing regulation this year. At the same time, we're also going to be seeing adoption. Adoption is going to come with the regulation because that's going to give green lights to uh, many institutions that want to get into crypto but don't have the regulatory clarity of getting involved and getting stuck in with crypto. There are some out there that want to take the risk, such as MicroStrategy, but there are others out there in traditional finance that you know, have a temptation to get into crypto, but they see the regulation or the regulatory framework right now, and it's just not up to their liking. If we see that, then I do think we can be seeing many stuff happen with that. And we could also be seeing a spot Bitcoin ETF um, you know, being, um, being uh, created in the United States, and that would be a big thing. So I'm now also going to go through when some data will be released. Now, this is some very important stuff. This is going to be released this month on July 28th. So the 28th of July, make sure that you have that in your calendars. And all eyes will be on the GDP reading because it will determine if the US is currently in a recession. We've had the first quarter. That was a negative quarter. That is, um, you know, the, that's the first quarter. If we have the second quarter as a negative quarter, then we are in a technical recession. And that is where you're going to be seeing, you know, um, you know the big players, the big big media players say you know we're in a recession we're in a recession guys whereas most of the people who are very much involved in crypto in the markets have already seen this and it won't be much of a surprise to them but to people who are not necessarily involved in the crypto markets in markets in general this will be a big shock to them and that will be another thing added on top of the you know the supply chain logistics uh, issues at the moment and also the energy crisis at the moment as well so Again, another thing just be aware of for this month. And this, I do think, will affect how the markets will perform. There could be a bit of a knee-jerk reaction um, you know, negatively in sort of a, a very short spike. And then from there, I think we could be seeing a bit of a recovery because I think with most of the markets, with Bitcoin and how crypto has performed and the stock market, we have seen most of uh, what we've seen right now. We've seen all of this priced in. It's, we've priced in what's been happening, you know, recession, uh, interest rates being raised, and also inflation. And that is why you're seeing negative growth or, you know, sort of this, downwards momentum in bitcoin and also in the crypto markets in the stock market as well for the past few months because uh, the investors they've been seeing a recession potentially happening we're seeing uh, the inflation also go up as well and then also the interest rates and also coupled with that the energy crisis many other things that are happening so that's where things could be going for bitcoin's price and that could also cause bitcoin to spike to around sort of fifteen thousand to sixteen thousand dollars but from there i do think we could be seeing the move upwards because now the data is revealed it is announced it is made in stone sort of thing so do comment down below whether you agree whether you disagree with what i've said in today's video i'll be very interested to hear what you guys have to say 
Yeah, again, June was negative 37%, which is absolutely insane. What will July bring? Hopefully another green or you know, a green month for this month. But again, we're still not out of the woods with the fear. So the fear is still there. What to do exactly? Well, again, what we're doing here, we're busy and none of this is financial advice and we're not financial advisors at all. But what we're doing is dollar cost averaging. So regardless of Bitcoin's price, we just accumulate Bitcoin and also with the altcoins as well that we love talking about on this channel. And we accumulate for a long term perspective. And then when it comes to a time where we've seen a pump in the markets, then we'll start to sell our initial positions that we put in initially into the markets. So effectively, what we're trading with is new money and just let that ride and let's see what happens with that. And then also coupled with that, keep on dollar cost averaging into the markets. And that's that's what we're doing. You ultimately have to decide what you want to do when it comes to investing. It is your decision. And again, you can take inspiration from people out there who have the knowledge in terms of when the data comes out and everything. We're here to provide the analysis and the interpretation of the information that comes out. So again, if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, uh, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. Um, you know, it's amazing to be a part of. And um, yeah, we'd love to have you guys on board. So subscribe if you're new and on our Twitter. Don't forget to follow us on there over there. We need 100,000 followers on Twitter. So again, a great crypto community on there and many other things all linked down in the description below. So that's it for me in today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.